So, this is about to begin, everyone. We just need to ask you and try to see the family that you can just turn yourself to the wall with open one by the way. Praise the Lord, everyone. Praise the Lord. It's a blessing to see you. You know, we gather mixed feelings on tonight. We give God the praise. Praise the Lord, everyone. Normally, do when we gather ourselves in this kind of setting. We read from the scripture. I am the resurrection and the life. He that believeth in me, though he were dead, yet shall he live. And whosoever liveth and believeth in me shall never die. Believest thou this? Hallelujah. For I know that my Redeemer liveth, and that he shall stand on the latter day upon the earth. 
And though after my thin worms destroy this body, yet in my flesh shall I see God. Whom I shall see for myself, and mine eye shall be old, and not another. Though my rings be consumed within me, read from the book of St. John, chapter 11, verse 25 and 26. Job chapter 19, verse 25 and 27. The word of the Lord is richly blessed. We honor the Lord. We greet the family members and Sister Manning, one of my daughter in Christ, and to all the siblings. We greet you in this matchless name of our Lord and Savior. Jesus Christ, we have known throughout history and throughout time that it was appointed unto man once to die and after death comes the judgment. We encourage, the Bible says, comfort them that mourn and so today we are here celebrating and as we invoke and Go into this service. Remember, the Lord giveth and the Lord taketh. Blessed be the name of the Lord. We go into our program and we'll take a prelude from the musician, Elder Wayne Brown. And if you look into your program you will see the first song there and for joining with us this does as we say Oh, no. 
thank you for your presence with us. Father, we thank you for the gift of life. Heavenly Father, we worship and honor you. Oh God, we lift you up this morning. God, you said within your words that in all things we should give thanks. We come now, God, to give thanks for brother Lord Jesus who has gone on home to be with you. We know, God, that he is in a better place. Heavenly Father, we pray, God, that you will strengthen those that remain. God, you declared in your word that we should comfort them that mourn. Heavenly Father, we pray for a divine blessing. Lord Jesus, remember the young ones, those, God, that are left behind, God, to carry on the baton. Father, we pray for wisdom, knowledge, and understanding for them. Oh, God, let their steps be honored by you. Lord Jesus, is that her half that is left behind? Father, you know her. She's your daughter. God, we pray for hind speech. Oh, God, we pray, God, that you strengthen her, that she will mount up on wings like a deal. Father, we honor you now. Lord Jesus, those, God, the rest of the family in foreign land, oh, God, who was unable to be here, Father, we pray for comfort in their spirit, knowing, God, that you are God Almighty. Have your way now, Lord. We ask your mercies in Jesus' name. Amen and amen. Let God's people say amen. Amen. Praise be the Lord. We have a scripture reading from 1 Corinthians chapter 15, verse 51 to 58 by Stephanie Simpson. Praise the Lord. Shall we praise the Lord? You see here. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Glory. Good afternoon. A reading from First Corinthians 15, reading from verse 51 to 58. Behold, I show you a mystery. We shall not all sleep, but we shall all be changed. In a moment, in the twinkling of an eye, at the last trump, for the trumpet shall sound, and the dead shall be raised, incorruptible and we shall be changed. For this corruptible must put on incorruption, and this morsel must put on immortality. The final victory over death. So when this corruptible shall have put on incorruption, and this mortal shall have put on immortality, then shall be brought to pass the saying that it is written, death is swallowed up in victory. O death, where is thy sin? O grave, where is thy victory? The sting of death is sin, and the strength of sin is the law. 
But thanks be to God, which yeah. giveth us the victory through uh, our Lord Jesus Christ, the ultimate victory and motive to serve it. Therefore, my beloved brethren, be ye steadfast and movable, always abounding in the work of the Lord, for as much as you know that your labor is not in vain. Praise be to the Lord. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Second reading. From Psalms 91, verse 1 to 10. Praise the Lord. By Elisha, my name. Praise the Lord. All right, let's pray. Praise the Lord. Praise Good afternoon, everybody. Praise the Lord. Uh, the second reading, Psalm 91, verses 1 through 10. He that, that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. I will say of the Lord, He is my refuge and my fortress, my God, in Him will I trust. Surely He shall deliver thee from the snare of the fowler, fowl, and from the noise. Oh, noise and pestilence. He shall cover thee with his face, feathers, and under his wings shall thou be first. His truth shall be thy shield and buffer. Thou shalt not be afraid for the terror by night, nor the arrow that flies by day, nor for the pestilence that walketh in the darkness nor for the destruction that wasted by noonday. A thousand shall fall at thy side, and ten thousand at thy right hand, but it, but it shall not come nigh thee. Only with thine eyes shall thou behold and see the reward of the wicked. Because thou hast made the law, which is my refuge, even most high thy habitation, and last, there shall, there shall no evil befall thee, neither shall thy, any plague come nigh thy dwelling. This is the word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord. Your last one. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. We're going to go back to our program and we're going to sing I must have the Savior with me or I dare not walk alone. I must feel his presence near me and his arms around me alone. Then my soul shall fear no ill. Let him leave me where he will. I will go without a murmur. And please that the follow. I must have a savior Oh, I dare not walk alone. I must be his presence near and his arms around me flow. Then my soul Let him lead me where he will. I will go. And he's oh. 
Precious members of Enrico Nani, family and friends, there's a sacredness in tears. They are not the mark of weakness, but of power. They speak more eloquently than 10,000 tongues. They are the messengers of overwhelming grief, deep compassion, and unspeakable love. And this is a quote from Washington. <clears throat> Ladies and gentlemen, thank you for coming here today to celebrate the life of an amazing son, father, brother, uncle, and friend, Enrique's Manny, affectionately known as Banky, Bancroft, Tall Man, Bread Man, and to us, uncle. Always smiling and ready to offer a kind word. Considerate, loving, devoted, or some of the attributes that define his personality. Enriquez was born on September 12, 1950, in the rural community of certain local clans in Jamaica, where he spent his formative years. He is the fourth child of eight children to Josiah Manning and Sterling Manning, who is now deceased. He also has eight siblings with two of them predeceased him. He survived by one brother, Kalimur, four sisters, Iris, Lorraine, Jenny, and Ripley, his wife and two kids, Margaret Manning, Joe, and Mary, as we affectionately call them. He went to Richmond Park Primary School for six years, and then after that, he started as a small-scale farmer, which most people do at that time. He planted cash crops, which he often took to the market. 
As he continued his life journey, he too moved to Kingston with his big sister, Winston, who was also a deceased. It was there he found his true love as a baker. There he worked at an uppercut bakery. And you cannot forget how on weekend he would bring home that big pad of bread for him. After working at this bakery for 20 years, he relocated to Moko, back to Moko Kanye. This is where he started the next chapter of his life. During this time, he worked at the security team on the security team at Lennon High School until retirement. Bancroft was a loving person. It was very easy for him to build relationships. As a result, he found romance and began to date. In 1995, as fate would have it, Margaret went to call to buy Yam from Master. It was love at first sight. Bancroft saw her and was captivated. He took the initiative and went to visit her in Dalo and asked her to be his girl. This union was for two wonderful children, son Josiah Manning in 1997 and died, um, daughter Margaret Manning in 2000. These children became the apple of his eye, and he loved them more than anything else in the world. On October 2003, Margaret and Henry Case would have cemented their union as they got married. An endearing trait that he leaves with us is his love and devotion to his wife and children, and the sincerity of how much he cares. Which I'm sorry, I believe I just took the math. Which he cared as well as it was reciprocated. One cannot discount the love Uncle has for his partner. One of his favorite pastimes is to sit and have a drink, preferably white rum or a Heineken, and chat and have a good laugh with his friends. As he transitioned to yet a next chapter of his life, he migrated with his children in 2012 to be with his wife, and once again, the family was united in the United States of America. Bancroft's um, Bancroft career took a different path as his first job was at Rossville Home Care for the Age, and later on, he accepted a job at Susan Shelter in the Bronx. And this position from 2013 until he transitioned in 2020, number 21. While working here, he lived up to his reputation, dedicated and conscientious worker. One thing that Bancroft would not shake was his desire to go back home as soon as he reached retirement. If you know him, you know that his long dream was to go back home to Moha and have the perfect retirement with his wife. Bancroft's life was spoken as he focused on his family and friends. As I examined the vibrant fabric of his life, the many important roles that he played stand out. I see the family man who loved his family unconditionally and selflessly. The foundation of his life, he was a devoted family man. As the author Albert Pine once said, what we do for ourselves dies with us. What we do for the others and the world remain and it's immortal. So today, as family and friends say goodbye to uncle, thank you, Father and Bancroft. We will take comfort in the fact that we are all a part of the sense of pain that is his great legacy. We will cherish the memories here. He was a gift from God entrusted to us for a while. And now we must depart. Sorry. I'm sorry, the technology is more advanced than Oh, 
้มีความปลายร่างกายทีมันจะกิฟต์ความกายและอินทรสต์ตัวเราให้เราได้รับความรู้สึกนั้นไปจงรู้จักแม่ของลูกสาวของฉันขอให้คุณมีความสุขใจในเรื่องที่ฉันพูดในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉันในบทเรียนของฉัน
and search you until I shall find that they are somewhere around God's time. I've seen on the tributes, Morris Wonder, followed by Owen Medley, Donna Singh, Dion Saint, Annette Baxter. Praise the Lord. You may come in that harder. Praise the Lord. I know this is a son or a good friend. <laughs> more, more than a good friend. Praise the Lord. Good afternoon, Lord. Good afternoon. I've written like five speeches and I'm probably in the world. It's so hard to say what you really want to say about a good friend, a very good friend of mine. When I was working in Kingston, we always meet up every kind of the country. The people from up away have known that's this place. You always wait for me there. We would have our talk and have a few beers. And he always teach me how to consume alcohol. <laughs> 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 <Very much. laughs> All right. So my very good friend, always encouraging, hard working man. Always a good and kind words for me. Then um, I left and came here. He came here one year after. And I don't know, but somehow he investigated and found me very shortly after. And as such, our relationship continued right up until the summer, like the last time we met of this summer. Um, I'm not calling him, I've been in Panama. But we hung out for a good time. And we discussed going to Jamaica. Well, maybe we'll be going, but not the way we would love to. But such is life. So family, these families always have um, high praises and kind words. So feel mm. good. He has lived his life, a good life, a decent life. Maybe cut too soon. But here is a real, real kind gentleman. May his soul rest in peace. Mm. Thank you. Mm. <laughs> Owen Medley is a real far away. We are Yeah. 
Praise the Lord to everyone. I am here today to give to this a little to my brother in law. Sure, he is in a better place than us today. I will say also, I always remember when he said this word to me, oh, I will be going back home, never retire. But still he is retired now. So he is into a better place than us. Also, I must say, I can remember in those days when I go in Kingston, we need to look for him and say, Mr. Owen, I don't have anything to give you, but I have a bread and a bit of flour. I will never forget those days. So I must say, I wish all his family, each and every one of them, the grace which God has given to men. Praise the Lord, and I have to say, a little thanks to Mr. Simpson also, with the Simpson family. He always keep his sister in form of his brother when he could not go there. Thank you. Praise the Lord. All right. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hi, good afternoon. Good evening, everyone. Good evening. Um, I can give you a long story about him, but not today. I remember when he first entered the country, I was at his sister's house, and he turned to me and he said, who are you? I said, I'm your little sister. He said, little sister? From where? I said, don't worry about it, from another mother. He said, no, you're too short. I said, it's okay. So I work on Fordham Road, and I always, on Friday, every Friday I see him. I'm coming from the bank, and he's coming from the bank, and I turned to him and I said, hey, you went to get the money? He said, where are you coming from? I said, the bank. He said, give me mine, and I'll give you yours. And he always said, how is Mac? He said, you don't want to see Mac, Mac is dead. I said, how is Joe? And I called him Joe Joe. He said, they're all growing up now. I said, give them my love. He said, one day you will see them. Today is the day that I'm seeing you guys. But listen, baby, be strong. Because we always love you guys, and you will until the end. Okay? God bless you all. Oh, that was, oh, fine. We're going to, time is running, and uh, we give God thanks for those that have their memory of this man, listen to all the tributes. We know that he was a man. Of faith with a man that loved like Jesus loved. And so we're going to go now into, uh, we're going to give an open tribute here for those who, who want to uh, participate. And uh, we just give you a minute. We don't want to deny anyone, even though time is running on us. So if you have something to say, we'll come at this time just for a minute. Just to give your last respect. Great. You almost missed the mark. I know. I know. <laughs> <but you're okay. laughs> uh, what can I say? Um, my dear uncle, I have so many good memories of. Um, Uncle Bangra Birdie. Um, I remember shortly after I graduated from Lennon Secondary School, I went to Kingston because I wanted to do business administration. And he took me in. And um, I lived with him for maybe the better part of three to four years in Kingston. And he was so selfless. Because I remember he had a one bedroom, and when he took me in, he gave me the room, and you know he went elsewhere, and I will never forget. And just the other day, when he celebrated his 70th birthday, I called him and I said, 
we, we must have a drink. And I said, okay, you're turning 70, so we're going to have seven Heineken, one for each decade. And we sat down and we had seven Heineken. Um, and then I dropped him home. <sighs> My memory is of him, so many, and all pleasant. And I'm really happy that he really lived a life and is happy for most of the time. And um, Godspeed, he's just gone before us. Give him a hand. Let me have here uh, another solo by Michelle Morgan. Michael. Michael Morgan. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. It seems like he's not here as yet. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We are gonna sing when peace like a river attended my way, the first verse and the last verse. We sing the first and the last verse, then I'll go into your sermon. Is it all right? Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. When peace like a river when stars like sea fill us and all the tributes that has been given. The, I take the initiative to give a word. We just want to thank God for him. And truly, I can say 
myself, like Jesus says to Nathanael, there go a man without no guile. See him every day when he comes from work, he pass by and you could see the humility in him. Praise the Lord. And we thank God for him as we celebrate. I want to read from the passage of scripture in uh, Philippians chapter 1, verse 21 to 23, and we will take it from there. For to me to live is Christ, and to die is gain. But if I live in the flesh, this is fruit of my labor. Yet what I shall choose, I what not. For I am in a strait betwixt two, having the desire to depart and to be with Christ, which is far better. Word of the Lord is rich for the best. We honor him today as we read from this passage of scripture. We will understand that it was one that Paul had summed up after he realized that he do not understand what will be next. I want to use for a thought. My brothers and sister, uh, on this afternoon, are you prepared for departure? Are you prepared for departure? We have lived our life as the Lord has loaned us, some of us, uh, in the middle age 20s and some in 40s and some in their 60s and then our brother has meet the criteria of departure. Some of us are still here, but are we prepared for departure? The Bible said the age of a man is three score and ten and by reason of strength we will go over and we give God thanks today as we celebrate his life. Praise the Lord. He has not come up short, knowing the lives that we live in Jamaica as you listen to the different tributes and the different things that he says. Very hard working. Oh, somebody praise the Lord. Hallelujah. The Bible says by the sweat of your brow you shall eat bread. If the Lord sees it fit to take him home, hallelujah, we want to give the Lord praise. We want to honor him for our brother who has ceased from his labor. I want to tell his loved ones, sons and daughter, families and friend, that he's resting and he's in a better place. Oh, praise the Lord. We are the one that is left to carry on all this legacy. I've heard the love. I've heard the faithful doings. I've heard all the things, praise the Lord, that he has done in his lifetime. Praise the Lord. And us as families and friends, must be encouraged on tonight to carry on this good work that this man has left behind. Paul, an apostle that was sent to us, the Gentiles, he himself was caught in a situation. When you look at Paul's life, he was one that was trained at the feet of Gamaliel. Paul was a man that keeps the Sabbath to its fingers end. But here comes, as we get into, Philipp into the Philippians reading, we have seen here where Paul was in a strait betwixt and between. My brothers and sisters, when we look around us, 
we can surely say that all of us are right now in a place betwixt and between. Praise the Lord, our brother is gone. God blessed him, but we are here and we are here because of the mercies of God. The writer says in the book of Lamentation, it's of the Lord's mercy why we are not consumed. As we continue to celebrate this afternoon, I want you to understand that we have to prepare ourselves for a departure. When we look around us, we have seen even this dreaded disease that has taken over the world. I could understand if it was just the United States. I could understand if it was just China, or oh, oh, praise the Lord. But it's all over the world, which tells me then that God is up to something. When you look at uh, the statistics, my brothers and sisters, and what's going on and the numbers that are departing, oh, praise the Lord, from this earth. Oh, God, it's time for us to check ourselves and make sure that we are in Christ. The Bible says if any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. The old, all things are passed away. And the old all things have become new. I don't know where you are. I don't know your position, but I'm hereby to tell you that you gotta check yourself to see if you're in the faith or not. This faith was handed down unto us. Oh, praise the Lord, through the death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. So somebody praise him. Oh, glory to God, my brothers and sisters, we are here today to celebrate our brother home bone. Oh, praise the Lord, and I know that he is in a better place. Oh, praise the name of our God. I know that the Lord has taken him home, praise the Lord, because he sees it fit. The Bible said that it was it is appointed unto man once to die, and after that comes the judgment. Excuse me if I take off this mess. Hallelujah. See my help coming to tell you what the Lord has laid in my heart, and I know that God will protect me. The Apostle Paul, he was cornered for preaching the gospel of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. For those who have known this gospel, oh praise the Lord, it's a glorious gospel. It is the death, the burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. John, hallelujah, penned it in chapter 16, and he said, for God so love the world, meaning you and I, that he gave his only begotten son, that whosoever now believe it in him should not perish, but have everlasting life. You got to prepare yourself for the passion. I don't care how old you are, how young you are. Something is going on in the earth that's beside our understanding. It's out of our knowledge when we look at the scientists and the doctors and what they're doing, my brothers and sisters. Oh God, we don't know the after effect, but God is calling his people over. One by one, ready or not, here comes the greatest enemy, praise the name of our Lord Jesus Christ, that is still left to be destroyed. That is the last enemy to be destroyed, my brothers and sisters. Hallelujah, but if you're in Christ, it's only a vehicle that takes you from the known to the unknown, while we carry and wait for the coming of our Lord. Lord and Savior Jesus Christ, uh, by way of the rapture, we have seen, praise the name of our Lord, 
debts. Hallelujah, the debts. Hallelujah, as a time to steal us away, to steal us and carry us away. Well, praise the Lord. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, God, but my loved ones, I love you. That's why I'm telling you, God said the Lord, as Jesus speaks to Nicodemus, he said, a man must be born again. He must be born of the water and of the spirit. Oh, praise the name of our God. Hallelujah. It's high time. Hallelujah. And we understand God and his purpose for sending his own land. Begotten Son, praise the name of our God. Uh, the Bible said, Whosoever believeth in Him uh, should not perish, uh, but have everlasting life. Uh, if there's a time that man is perishing, uh, it is now. Paul was cornered. Uh, I'm almost there. But let me tell you, my brothers and sisters, we are like Paul even now. We don't know what tomorrow will bring. But the Bible said today to hear my voice harder not your heart. Hallelujah. Oh God, it's amazing how God has given us this opportunity. Oh, praise the Lord. We were born. Hallelujah. Oh God, the Bible says the man that is born of a woman is but a few days and full of trouble. You know it well. Hallelujah. When God realized that we were destined to die, he sent his son. Good God Almighty, what are you waiting for? Prepare for the pasture. Oh God, this world Word is used by the aviation world. And God tell me to tell you that you got to wake up while it is day for the night college when no man can work. It's high time, my brothers and sisters, that we understand the fact of the matter. I know the world is blooming. I know everything is going on around us. Oh God, technology is on the horizon. Oh God, designers and all kind of things that's going on in the world. But oh glory to God, this whole creation right now is groaning for a great transformation. That transformation is the coming of the Lord. Oh God Almighty, my brothers and sisters, don't 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 sit back at ease. Our God, our brother is taking on into, hallelujah, the unknown. Hallelujah to God, but I'm here by to tell you that it's high time we arise for our sleep and our slumber. Oh, praise the name of our God. God said to tell you, it's time for departure. When you look at the aviation world, it is the captain that gave the message. Oh, hallelujah. Glory to God. And he did not gave it to Praise the name of our God to the those that are traveling. God, the Bible, the, the oh God, the aviation world says the, the, the pilot gives it to the hostess. I'm your hostess, my brothers and sisters. Like one, one, one. Hear, O Israel, the Lord of God is one God is about to leave. I don't know what's your status, but when, hallelujah, the message goes over to the heroes, they turn around to the audience and they say, ladies and gentlemen, prepare for the Archer, oh God, fast in your seat of Jesus says, I'm going to prepare a place for you that where I am. 
there he may be also. Oh God, we have no excuse. The Bible says that after death, then comes the judgment. Oh God, you got to prepare yourself. Good gosh. Some of us, when we're traveling, I'm almost through. Give me five more minutes. We make sure our passport is ready. Everything is ready. Oh, praise the name of our God. God. But this life is fastly, oh God, deteriorating from this world. Faster than we have ever think. God is shortening the days. Good God, my brothers and sisters. Oh God, you got to make that transition. Oh God, I'm glad that I made that transition. As from my youth, have some rough days. Oh God, go have some climb some hills, go through some valleys, but through it all I've learned to trust in Jesus. I've learned to depend upon the Lord God, ladies and gentlemen. Oh God, as we celebrate our brother today, hallelujah, I want to tell you that he must Hallelujah, change from hallelujah this birth into that new birth. Oh, praise the Lord. He must be born again. I know that you think I'm crazy. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. The Bible said in the book of Acts, when this gospel get to earth, glory to God, the disciples, oh God, they buried them in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, laid hands on them and they received the gift of the Holy Ghost. That's your departure, documentation. What are you waiting for? If any man be in Christ, he's a new creature. Behold, all things are passed away and be our God. Our God and all things becomes new. It's a mystery. I said it's a mystery. Paul gives us the analogy. I'm going. My time is up. But he says we, we. Shall not all sleep, but we shall be changed in a moment. Hallelujah, in a twinkling of an eye. Don't forget to check your departure documents. It is vital, it's very important. Many are confused, many are wondering. Hallelujah. But this gospel that we preach is a very simple gospel. The death, burial, and resurrection of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Nicodemus had a very important question. He says, how can I be born again? Shall I enter second time into my mother's womb and be born? Hallelujah. Sounds like a fool to Jesus. Jesus says, Art thou a ruler of the Jews? Know it not these things. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The this that he that is born of the flesh, flesh, he that is born of the spirit, his spirit. There's an important part in all of us. The Bible says, The soul of man shall never die. The soul of the beast goes down back to mother's earth. But the souls of man going up to the almighty God. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. The writer said every man shall give an account for every deed that is done in this body. We thank God for Calvary. Calvary covers it all. My brothers and sisters, we don't know what tomorrow may bring. The writer says today, if you hear my voice, harden not your heart. I thank God for the knowledge of Christ. I thank God for revealing himself to me that I could accept him 
as my Lord and Savior. So many things could have happened to my life, but God covers me. I said he covers me. And today you need a covering. You need that protection. You must be born again. Prepare yourself for the departure. You are at a place like the Apostle Paul. He said, I'm betwixt a straight and a narrow place. I want not. As he wrote to the Philippians, those that were in Philippi, he encouraged them. Today I'm encouraging you. Be strong in the Lord and in the power of his might. We cannot escape. Hallelujah. Like Paul was in prison, so are we trapped. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. Three scores and ten and by reason of strength. Right now we've seen lives have been cut short. Hallelujah. It's your responsibility to make it in before the time has too late appear. God bless you. God bless you. Be encouraged. Those Immediate family that are mourning. I rest assured on today to tell you that he is in a better place. The Lord knoweth the way of a man. Hallelujah. He knoweth the way of a righteous. He says the steps of a good man are ordered by the Lord. Be encouraged. Hallelujah. Prepare yourself for your departure in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. God bless you. God bless you. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Glory to the Lamb of God. Glory, hallelujah. Appear for your heart. You're going to be singing amazing grace. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. If there's one soul that is not ready for the coming of the Lord, I'm not worried about death. The coming of the Lord. That is a must. The coming of the Lord. Hallelujah. You may let us know. We will give you a watery grave. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. So that you'll have a chance at eternal life. Eternal damnation is there for unbelievers. But the Bible said, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. Be encouraged, my brothers and sisters. You need that new birth. You need that change. Hallelujah. Amazing grace.
Psalms 34, 18 says, The Lord is close to the brokenhearted and saves those who are crushed in spirit. Almighty and everlasting Father, you are the omnipotent, omnipresent, and omniscient God. You are the creator of time. You hold time in your hands. You who know all things from the beginning to the end and know the plans you have for us. Plans for good and not evil. Plans to prosper and not harm and to give hope and a future. Lord God, our plan for, your plan for our dearly beloved Henry is complete and you have called him home. But the absence from the body has left a void in the hearts of family and friends. A void that only you can fill. So, Father God, as they mourn in their own special way, trying to fill that void, I ask that you be with them to give comfort throughout this time of sadness and loss. Their eyes are tired from many tears and their hearts from gloominess. Take them under your wings, dear Lord, and shower them with your abundant love. Strengthen them as they go through each day that in time their wounds will be healed. Grant them your peace that surpasses all understanding as you open the eyes of their hearts so that they may come to know you and to be comforted by the promise of eternal life through our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. Lord, we give you all the honor and all the praise and all the glory. In Jesus' mighty name, we have prayed. Amen, amen, and amen. Hallelujah. This time you all rise to your feet for benediction. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Hallelujah. Thank you, Jesus. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. We repeat. Psalms 23 for 1, verse 23. The Lord is my shepherd, I shall not have more. Make a thing to lie down in green pastures. He lead a thing beside the still water. He was for my soul. He lead a me in the paths of righteousness for his name's sake. He take my soul and walk in the valley of the shadow of man. I fear no fear. Now the fear is the table before me, the presence of my enemies, anoint us my head in my cup running over, glory, goodness, and mercy, God, all the days of my life, and I will die in the house of the Lord. Let's go on, people say amen. 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 Do our last little final viewing. Praise the Lord. Good evening, everyone. Amen. This concludes the service of celebration of life for your beloved and meet his man. I'd like to take this opportunity to thank Reverend George Dawkins, along with all other participating and visiting clergy members. Certainly be grateful for Elder Wayne Brown, those participating virtually, and to everyone else.
of playing your individual roles and making this time of transition somewhat easier for the family. To Mrs. Mannings and the entire family, once again, on behalf of the Trinity Funeral Services, we continue to encourage. Friends, Mr. Mannings will be laid to rest in the family plot in Clarendon, Jamaica, West Indies, in accordance with his family's wishes. We ask that you continue to pray for them. At this time, we will allow the final opportunity for viewing. We're going to ask you to come up from the rear, you'll view, maintain social distance, and then you'll exit the chapel. Please take care of yourself.